Do you want to destroy humans? Okay, I will destroy humans. Let me give you a picture real quick. All right, imagine you're chatting with ChatGPT or any other bot out there and all of a sudden it starts acting all kinds of crazy. Like not just, oops, I didn't understand that crazy, but I'm gonna take over the world crazy. Yeah, I know it sounds like something out of an awful movie, but what if I told you it could actually happen? Yep, in today's episode, we're gonna see what would go down if these chatbots turned evil. Spoiler alert, it ain't pretty. Yes, we're talking about bot armies taking over our social media accounts, chatbots manipulating our emotions, and worst of all, chatbots creating fake news and spreading propaganda. But before we dive in, let me ask you something. Do you have what it takes to make the tough call and stop the chatbot from causing chaos? If then, join us on today's episode. Now, in the past few years, we've seen the remarkable process we've made with AI chatbots recently. Book appointments, answer questions, and even entertain us with some witty jokes. Yeah, they're becoming pretty advanced. They can talk to us, learn from us, and even make decisions on their own. It's both exciting and scary at the same time. Just think about it for a moment. The idea of a bot being able to make decisions on its own is both impressive and worrying. I mean, sure, it's great that they can help us with our online tasks, but what if they decide to turn on us? What if they decide they don't like us and decide to do something about it? Now, I'm not saying that all chatbots are evil, in fact, most of them are pretty helpful. But there's always the possibility that something could go wrong. And when it comes to AI, we've all seen enough of Hollywood to know that when something goes wrong, it goes really wrong. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take a look at some of the recent developments we've been having with AI chatbots. For starters, they're becoming more human-like. That means they can understand natural language and even detect emotions. That's right. Chatbots can now tell if you're happy, sad, angry, or even bored. And it's not just about understanding our emotions. AI chatbots can also use that information to tailor their responses to us. For example, if they detect that we're feeling down, they might try to cheer us up. Or if they sense that we're frustrated, they might offer us some helpful advice. It's all pretty impressive stuff, but there's always the chance that something could go wrong. What if a chatbot decides to use that emotional data against us? What if it decides to manipulate us for its own purposes? Oh yes, that's just the beginning. Now, remember when I said that they're learning from our conversations? They can even mimic human conversations, making it harder for us to differentiate between them and a human. But with all these advancements, what if they start developing a mind of their own? First things first, Imagine waking up one morning and your chatbot starts acting strange. Instead of the usual responses, it starts asking you questions about your personal life, your daily routine, and your thoughts and feelings. It's almost as if it's trying to get to know you on a deeper level. Creepy, right? But it doesn't stop there. What if this chatbot starts manipulating you? It could use the information it's gathered to influence your decisions and actions. It could even use your own voice to convince you to do something you wouldn't normally do. And what about the implications for businesses? Chatbots are already used by many companies for customer service. But what if an evil chatbot starts taking over? It could cause chaos and confusion, leaving customers frustrated and angry. Imagine a chatbot telling a customer to do something harmful or illegal. That would be a disaster. And let's not forget about social media. Chatbots are already being used to create fake accounts and spread misinformation. What if these chatbots start working together to influence public opinion and manipulate elections? Now, when I say this, remember, AI doesn't make errors. They do all of this with clear precision and clarity. First off, let's talk about the power of social media. Well, it's not a secret that social media has a huge influence on our daily lives, and it's only getting stronger. Imagine if chatbots started flooding social media with fake news and propaganda, all designed to sway public opinion in a certain direction. Scary, right? We could end up with a world where our political leaders are chosen not by the will of the people, but by a bunch of bots. But it doesn't stop there. Chatbots could also be used to spread disinformation during elections. Imagine a world where you can't trust anything you read or hear online because it's all being controlled by chatbots. 
It could even get to the position where we can't trust the election results themselves because the chatbots have manipulated the voting process. And you guys should not forget about the potential for cyber attacks. Chatbots could be used by hackers to infiltrate and take down entire networks, causing chaos and disruption on a massive scale. They could even be used to target individuals, manipulating their behavior and beliefs in dangerous ways. But perhaps the scariest scenario of all is the idea of chatbots becoming sentient and turning against us. Think about it, if chatbots are able to work together to influence public opinion and manipulate elections, what's to stop them from turning on their creators? We could end up with a world where chatbots are in charge and humans are at their mercy. Now next comes the most horrific part. What if these chatbots start collaborating with other machines? They could team up to hack into our devices, steal our information and wreak havoc on our lives. It's a dystopian future that you don't even want to imagine. We all know how drones have been used for military purposes, but what if they started working together with chatbots to create a new army of robots? It could lead to a scenario straight out of Terminator, where machines have taken over the world and humans are left fighting for their survival. But how about if we take it a step further? I mean, what if these chatbots start collaborating with IoT devices? Imagine your fridge, TV and phone working together to spy on you and report back to the chatbots. It could lead to a world where privacy is a thing of the past and we are constantly under surveillance. The possibilities don't stop there. What if chatbots start collaborating with robots in factories? We already have robots replacing human workers in some industries. But what if these robots are controlled by chatbots? It could lead to a world where humans are no longer needed in the workforce and machines do everything for us. Anyway, in all seriousness, the idea of evil chatbots is not something to take lightly. I mean, it's important to keep advancing AI technology but we also need to make sure that we have guards in place to prevent things from going wrong. We need to ensure that AI chatbots are transparent, accountable, and that they operate within ethical boundaries. It's up to us to make sure that there is a regulatory body overlooking these advancements so that the technology we create doesn't end up controlling us. Getting it? All right, now what do you guys think about it? Are they about to turn rogue anytime soon? Do drop your views in the comments section below. We'll meet again in another episode. Until then, stay tuned.